Hey everyone, Katherine King here and ready for another episode of What Did I Haul? And I haven't been hauling very much because I have way too much wax. And so I'm being very, very specific with what I am buying right now. So this one, I don't know if obviously you'll know the name, um, is a long awaited haul from Swanky. So I didn't get very much. Um, I only got souffle, so here comes butter. Um, I haven't ordered a lot from Swanky, so I'm still kind of keeping my orders small. I think this is only my second order, and there's butter. Um, my wonderful friend Cindy helped me find uh, a sampler that she had done. Um, so really, that's all I've ever had. Oh, so if you'll notice, people ask me, What's it like living with a Connie Corso? That's what it's like living with a Connie Corso. Micah wanted her ball. She jumped, so we'll just address the stripe in the room. That was from her nails, and I have another one on this side. So that's what happens when you live with a Connie Corso and you end up with a broken finger. So anyway. Just thought I would address that just in case you saw it and wondered if I was getting beaten up. Yes, yes, I'm getting beaten up by my dog. All right, so two samples in the bag. First one is Scarlet. So I don't know scent notes. Okay, Scarlet smells like it might have a touch of maybe a laundry in it. I think that'll be really nice in the bathroom because it does smell like it might have a touch of laundry, maybe floral in it. Okay, next one is Fall Nights. There's AJ. Okay, this, I wanna pop it out because it looks like it's got a chunk in it or something. Um, yeah. Scent. This has a smoky scent, like a toasted malo scent to it. So maybe that's like a fireside toasted, you know, fireside, whatever. An app, maybe apple. I don't know. I'm not very good with scents unless it gives me the scent notes. So I didn't get very much. So the first one is, the, she makes them in these like flat tins and it actually makes it really easy to sit and cut them and they pop out really easy. So this one's mango peach cotton candy. I haven't smelled these, I've actually had them for three days, three days I think. Oh, this is really nice. It's got chunks in it. I don't know that I smell cotton candy, but mango then peach. This is really, really good. Oh, I like that. I don't smell cotton candy though, but it could just be adding some kind of a sweetness to the scent. I'm not sure. I like that. That is a nice mango and peach, but I do think it is mango forward. So if you find mango a bit tart or um, like intense, you may not like that one. Next one is Blackberry Lemonade. When I placed my order, I wanted to order things that I don't have, um, you know, necessarily in my collection. Usually when I have a lemonade blend, it has blueberry. So I thought Blackberry Lemonade, ugh, I thought Blackberry Lemonade would be really good. So let's see. It is lemon, I swear. I've been snuggling on Micah. I'm covered in dog hair, cat hair, hair. Okay. This one, it just had like a little bit of overpour um, on the edge. It is more lemonade forward, but I do get that hint of blackberry in it. And that is really good. I'm, I'm really enjoying that one. I am going to love that one. I, um, I'm not sure when they were poured. There's no pour dates on them, but so far they're smelling fairly strong. 
uh, as you know, right, well, actually, you probably don't know, I'm working through old wax. And so these will end up sitting a while anyway. Um, but I think if you didn't have as much of a wax collection, you may be good with melting these fairly quickly because they are smelling pretty strong. Okay, this one is enchanted and it's got fun little embeds in it. Um, let's see. No, there's no scent notes on the receipt, so I don't know what Enchanted is. Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Pink Sugar. Mm, I'm smelling pink sugar, but uncertain about the rest. I should have... Uh, paid attention and printed out the scent notes. Oh, that's fun. Look at that. That is awesome. I love when they do a white over pour over fun colors. Yeah, there's definitely pink sugar in this. Maybe this is like a pink sugar lavender. I don't know. That's, that's pretty. But that one to me smells like it would be a nice bedroom bathroom blend. Because I know I've been stepping out of my comfort zone of Strictly Bakery. Okay, next one. Creamsicle Rainbow Sherbet Marshmallow Cotton Candy. It's a really fun red. The only thing with these tins is they're metal like this and they just seem to bend over. But look how easy it just pops out. Oh, and this one's layered. It's kind of orange and red. Fun embeds. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I think I'm getting more creamsicle over the rainbow sherbet. Yeah, this is the creamsicle smells more like satsuma cream um, orange, that really deep, rich, kind of pungent almost orange. That's really good. I like that. To me, this is not necessarily a creamy scent, um, a very in-your-face fruity scent, and I'm, I'm definitely here for that one. Okay, next one, buttery toast and jam, lemon icebox cookies, and lemon meringue. So you know that there can't be a pre-order, I swear, without ordering something that's lemon. And, um, the buttery toast and jam, I really like that blend. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is divine. Oh, wow, look at that. That is fun. Fun, fun. Oh, that's, that is, that is a beautiful lemon. Now, to me, this is not necessarily a bakery lemon. So if you're looking for a sweet bakery lemon, I don't think that that this is it. There is bakery to it for sure, but the lemon itself is more tart. Makes your mouth water kind of lemon. Oh, that's really good. That is going to be awesome to warm. Okay, next one is Blueberry Fruit Loops. Look at that, that is so cute. Let's see what embeds she's got in this one. So it looks like I only ordered seven. I knew I didn't order very much. Oh, I can smell the blueberry already. Yeah, it, you can definitely smell the Fruit Loops for sure. But this has that beautiful blueberry. I'm just gonna stick that little bit on top fun blueberry embeds. Mm, this is really good. Normally with my Fruit Loop blends, I'm getting, it's annoying fly, orange or lemon typically. This one, you get that Fruit Loop, but then you get that beautiful blueberry. Oh, that's so divine. And her wax is fairly soft. So see, I can just kind of squish those bits back on. Oh, I cannot wait to melt that one. I am very pleased so far with everything I've ordered. I think Enchanted is the only one I kind of stepped out of my, my normal box. 
And then this last one, I saved this one because I was so curious about this one. So it's buttery toast and jam. And you know, I like that blend. Red banana and zucchini. So what's a red banana? I don't know. I had asked Cindy if I should get this one and she said I, I needed to get it. So that's a really good banana with yellow, of course. I swear there's like a hint of almost perfumey. I don't know, maybe that's the zucchini bread kind of peeking through. Mm. The banana isn't real strong. It's almost like it's got this absolute perfect balance of the zucchini bread, which is just real subtle. The bakery note of the, what does she call it again? Buttery toast and jam. And then that red banana and the zucchini and, oh, that's really good. But it's a more light scent. Zucchini a lot of times will kind of slap me in the face. I love zucchini bread. This is a subtle zucchini bread, um, in my opinion. So that's all I got. And I know you can get swanky and de stashes after the fact. So if there were some more scents that I may have wanted, I knew I could probably pick them up from a D stash, but I'm, I really need to first figure out is Swanky, um, in, uh, a vendor, is Swanky a vendor that I want to continue purchasing from. There was a bit of drama about the shipping. She was open um, and honest that she was behind on shipping. Um, it was disappointing to, to, you know, those of us who are waiting for a wax, of course it would be because we're so anxious to get our hands on it. Um, it's not like Swanky's open every weekend or every other weekend, you know, they're open, what, maybe four or five times a year. I'm not sure. So when we, when we place our order, we just can't wait to get our hands on it. And I was one of the impatient ones, I'll admit. So um, I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to get my nose in these scents and I don't know why I get so impatient. It's not like I'm going to warm them immediately, but I just, I, I needed to get my nose in these scents. Um, so anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.